Alright, so I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I mean, normally I start off on the, uh, this in-game because of the reason given that, uh, I don't want to have to have you guys sit through me calibrating my, uh, my stupid Wii Remote Plus, or wh whatever the hell they call it. I don't know. I don't know what they call it. I forgot, but, uh, you know, the extra part, because, you know, when you have the Wii Motion Plus, oh yeah, that was it, the Wii Motion Plus. I remembered it. When you have that, they always make you calibrate your Wii Remote before you start to play. So uh, I don't, I don't really want you guys to, to sit through that. I mean, it's just boring. It's just the same stuff of going through the screen, continue game, then it will ask you to sync up your your, your Wii Remote. But uh, the reason I'm starting off here is because uh, Flocker reminded me to go look up the codes. See, I got paper here. I got paper. So you guys know I'm not BSing you. You guys can hear it in the background. I hope. Um. No, you definitely can. Uh, I actually have, uh, I actually went, because of Flocker, dude, uh, he actually reminded me to go and look up the pre-order codes for Red Cell 2, because if you remember, uh, I actually, I actually looked at this and said, oh, cool, pre-order codes, I'll have to remember to go look that up. And obviously I never remembered to do anything, ever, so Flocker kindly reminded me to do that, and so, what we're gonna do, apparently there's two types of things to unlock, uh, you get different swords, which is really cool. I never knew that before. I didn't know you could get different swords. And uh, you can get two different guns. Alright, so let's see here. The first sword. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come up with a name of it. We're going to start with the swords. And the code is... I just found these... Oh, by the way, I just found these codes online. <laughs> All you got to do is just go to Google and type in Red Steel 2 uh, pre-order codes. And it's like basically like the first thing you'll find. And apparently that this will work with uh, with any game, so it's not specific to each game. So hopefully this is going to work, because I've never tried this before. So it is uh, 5885555. Wow, that's really unique. And 8, wow. Good job, game. That is... Congratulations! You entered a valid code! You now have a special weapon! Ooh! Ooh, the neat... The Nihonto Hana. The Nihonto... Yeah, 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 that's, that's how you pronounce it. The Nihonto Hana. I don't know what Nihonto means, uh, but I know I'm saying it right, because the O, because the O's have the exact same saying. The American way of saying Nihonto, but that's not right, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Nihonto. So I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm right. So it's the Nihonto Hana, and I know that Hana means flower, and you can see right there, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool design. So, uh, that's cool. I didn't, I didn't know that. That's really cool. Um, I didn't know you could get extra, I didn't know, know you could get different swords in this game. That's really awesome. Uh, so, does that mean if I type in the other sword code, will that replace this one? I don't know. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, three, the next one is three, six, zero, three, seven, eight. There we go. That's a bit different code, so that's good. Congratulations! You entered a valid code! Special weapon! The Kuro no Kin. Ooh, the Kuro no Kin. Yeah, I guess it does re replace your other one. Okay, well that's fine. Um, so that's kind of what I expected. I didn't expect you to have, uh, I expect you to have, like, uh, a different... You have, like, all three swords at once. It probably, what this probably does, it just replaces your, uh, your Sora Katana, and basically the looks department. I'm pretty sure it's just maybe a palace swap of the original, but still, still, that's really cool. So, uh, I don't know if you can switch them in game. I'm guessing not. I don't think you probably switch, I don't think you can probably switch them in game. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and stick with the Kuro no Ken. And I know at least a Ken means some form of, some form of a, it's Japanese for like sword or katana or something like that. So, something, something similar to that. I know that's what Ken means. I don't know what Kuro no pretty sure I could probably look up Kuro. I've heard that word before, but I'm, I'm not, I don't remember exactly what it means. So now that we got the two swords out of the way, probably next time, probably in the next recording set, I can probably go and try the Nihonto, the Nihonto Ohana, see how that works. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and, and try our two guns. God, I hope I don't have to buy them. I hope they are, th I hope they are free, because I have enough worry about uh, money troubles as it is in this game. Alright, so the first gun is three, five, eight, two, eight, eight, zero. Okay. Congratulations! Ooh, the Barracuda. Oh, 
Oh, I see what that does. It probably that's probably just a replacement for your uh, for your revolver. Okay, okay, the the Barracuda. Ah, it's like an old timey uh magnum magnum or something. That's kind of what it looks like to me. It kind of looks like a magnum, but I'm not entirely sure because I'm not a gun buff by any means. So if it's another type of gun, then go ahead and let me know because it looks to me like it's a magnum, but I could be wrong. Anyway, let's see if uh, the second gun that it has here for a code is going to replace a Barracuda or is it going to replace another gun. Alright, we have the... Uh, 3... 7... 0... 4... 0... 2! CONGRATULATIONS! Yeah, that, that, that switches it out. The Totoro. Hmm... I like the look of this gun. I like the look of that a lot. Look at that. That thing looks really cool. It has like some red thing right there for the for the trigger and it has cool handle and it has really slick silver fitness. The other one kinda of looked like a regular magnum like like you would find in today's world. But this this has a more Japanese uh has a more neo Japanese feel to it. So you know what we're, we're gonna stick with these two. And I guess next recording set we're gonna go with the uh, with the Nihonto Hana and the Barracuda. So I will keep that paper around with me until I record the next time, and let's go ahead. Yeah, there we go. Pre-order code. Thank you. So now, after all that, you get to sit, you get to wait and watch me calibrate my Wii remote by sitting on the uh, rim of my chair here. And uh, we can finally start the game now. How long? How long did that take? Let me go look at that real quick. That only took about seven and a half minutes. We should still be fine for. That should probably be about half of a video. And here we are. Here we are. Hello, Red Steel 2. Hello, Kuzigari Man. All right, we gotta find Sinjiro. Good, good. All right. Give me my gun. We've killed 32 of your clan protectors so far. That would make you why the last one. It's not a very big clan if there is only 33 people in it. Kind of like asking for inbreeding right there. What? Why didn't he spin it out? Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. With his regular revolver, whenever you press up... Oh, there we go. He spins it to put it away. But when you press up, it just comes out automatically with like two frames. Now, does it have a different firing animation? Uh, it still holds eight, eight rounds, I believe. Yeah. What about reloading? What was that? What was that? That was nothing. He didn't do anything. Then again, I guess you don't really see him reload the other gun very much. This it's a little bit disappointing, but I guess he puts it away right. Here, go on, put it away. Go on. I know you're gonna do it. Yeah, there you go. See, he puts it away like the right way. Oh, I can't destroy that, of course. But he doesn't spin it to take it out, and that's like my favorite part. That's why I always. That's why I almost never fire, like, directly from, uh... <clears throat> that's why I don't ever quick... That's why I try not to quick fire, because I like him taking it out too much. Oh, hello. I'm not gonna fall for your trap again. Seems to be, uh... Oh, it's pretty dark over here. It's, like, dark red in this area. Weird. Is this a door I can go through? No, this locked door. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess that's the, uh, whatever it was called. So that's, there, there, there's that gun for you. I guess we'll be using it for this recording set, and then we can switch over to the other one next recording set. So there is that. Now let's see my sword. Oh, cool. Look at that. Oh, that's really cool looking. I want a sword like that. Oh. Same on that side too. Oh, that looks so nice. That looks real sunny and yeah. There we go. Look at this. This is. I like this sword. This is pretty cool. It has a dragon thing going up from the hill to the little squiggly line. It has a really cool uh, blade design also. With a uh... yeah. That's really cool. And then like the uh, the hilt, the handle is like pure white also. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm gonna love cutting up guys with that. Yeah, 
Yeah, go ahead and blow up. Give me your money. So I'm glad, because when I first saw the, uh, when I first saw the thing about that the online codes gives you swords and guns, I thought for a second that, uh, that, um, what was it? I need to stop saying um so much. Since I had to work on, I remember that. But when I first saw the online codes, I thought for a second that I would, that they would appear in, uh, the store, right? I thought they would appear in the store and you have to buy them. And that really, like, kind of made me nervous. I'm like, oh god, I don't, I mean, new, new guns would be cool and all, but... Surrender your sword of katana to me, and I will make your death painless. I don't have the sword of katana, I have the Kuso no, uh, no Ken. I have the Kuso no Ken. Someone tell me what that means, Flocker. Yes, I did say someone tell me what that means, Flocker, because I know he's the only one that's going to tell me. He knows. He knows the stuff. Alright, so this is a pretty random room. Yeah, I don't have it! I only have the Kuso no Kata. Wait, no, the Kuso no... The Kuso no Ken. I gotta remember that name. The Kuso no Ken. I don't have the Sword Katana anymore, dude. I have this sword. This looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool indeed. So basically what it is, it's just pallet swaps. Unfortunately, it's only pallet swaps for, uh... Oh, that's kind of floating in midair. That's kind of weird. It's only pallet swaps for your revolver and sword. But you know what? I guess it's better better than nothing. After all, it is just a pre-order code. It's not like it was any DLC or anything. Which is really good. You know, that is, a, that is a one thing about the Wii that I guess... Ugh! Okay. That is one thing about the Wii. <laughs> I just cut, I stabbed an explosive barrel, I got suck, I got knocked back from it. Anyway, that's one thing about the Wii, it doesn't have DLC to it, so you know what, if you don't like DLC, get the Wii. Now, about the Wii U, the Wii U is a different story, I don't know what they're going to do with that. They're probably going to try to find a way to sleaze. I await your arrival. Yeah, shut up, I know, I'm coming for you, Sinjiro. Yeah, I remember his name. That's right. All right, so do we, do we, we got everything over here, right? Uh, yeah. It's really dark in this area too. Glad you guys can see better than I can. But yeah, there's really no DLC for the Wii that I know of, really. So this is basically the only thing you get is our pre-order codes. All right, where is he? Where's the slime ball at? But for the Wii U, I'm guessing they might try to find a way to like sleaze in some sort of DLC deal with, with games and stuff like oh unlock the extra world in Mario with oh boss fights unlock the extra world in Mario with uh with this DLC yeah thanks thanks game that's what I wanted all right here we go boss fight time I might die here but you know what we're good Sinjiro <laughs> oh crap here attack me again you punk no! What are you doing? Yeah! There we go! He's a tiger! No! That didn't work. Yaha! Whoa! He's so fast! Oh yeah! That, was good. that got him! Ah! Tiger works on this guy! Oh! That goes in slow motion too! Do it again! Hit me one more time! I dare you! He's shooting at me! Why would you shoot at me? Ha! Matador, no! No, I didn't block that. Oh, there we go. No! Aha! The tiger! Ha! Why are you dead yet? No! Aha! There we go. Stunned him. No, he keeps... Oh! No! Oh, I'm dead. No, come on, don't kill me! No, I'm dead! I'm not dead yet! I'm not dead yet! I'm dead! I'm dead. God dang it. I hate this guy. Oh, I am not dead yet. Well, I pretty much am. I have like, no life yet. Ah! Uh, die! Are you supposed to die to this guy? I can't kill him! Ah! Uh, I, 
was doing so well against him! I kept hitting him constantly! Why did I die there? Oh, are you kidding me? What the hell? Ah, doesn't help that my Wii Remote! Wow. Wow, come on! Tiger, there we go! That's how you deal with this guy? No, he, his combo is over too fast before I can even get off the tiger on him. Ah, Matador. That was it. That's a good one. Aha! Blocked it. What? How? God, he's good. Ah, tiger. Yeah, there, no! Aha! Mador, no! Yeah! Do it again. Aha, Tiger! No, what? I win? He took less damage this time! That was BS. That was the most BS thing I've ever seen in my Hello? life. Hello? Thank heavens. You can hear us again. It appeals the secrets of the Kusakari. Our secrets no longer. Find me! I hit that guy my first time playing through. The first time I just fought him. So many times. I hit him. I did special moves. I blocked his attacks. I did heavy attacks every single time, I hit him with special moves, all that jazz, and he still didn't go down. I kept hitting him over and over again, and the second time I went through fighting him, what happens? I hit him for pretty much about half the damage I did to him the first time, and he got defeated!